Let's investigate numerical expressions. When evaluating an expression, always do parentheses first, then multiplication and division, left to right, and then addition or subtraction, left to right. Let's try a practice problem. First, we need to compute the expression in parentheses. 4 plus 5 gives us 9. Next, we need to multiply 9 times 2, which is 18. Next, we need to work left to right. 35 minus 9 is 26, and then 26 minus 18 is 8. So our answer is 8. Let's try this next one. First, we want to look inside the brackets to the parentheses. 4 times 5 and 2 tenths gives us 20 and 8 tenths. Next, we need to finish the brackets by adding 3 and 8 tenths and 20 and 8 tenths, resulting in 24 and 6 tenths. Last, we need to multiply by 2. We get an answer of 49 and 2 tenths. Let's check out this word problem now. Maggie used a $20 bill to pay for two sandwiches for $3.25 each and five orders of fries for $2.50 each. The amount she received in change can be found by using this expression. What is the amount of change Maggie received? If we look to the inside of the bracket and compute the multiplication, we get 2 times $3.25, which gives us $6.50, and 5 times $2.50, which gives us $12.50. If we add the values in parentheses, we get 19. Last, we need to subtract 20 minus 19, and we get $1, which is our answer. Let's try one last problem. Cheryl used two-thirds of a yard of string to make friendship bracelets. She then made six more bracelets using two yards of strings for each bracelet. The total yards of string can be found by using this expression. How many yards of string did Cheryl use? To compute this problem, first we have to multiply two times six. That gives us 12. Next, we need to add 2 thirds and 12, which gives us 12 and 2 thirds. So our answer is 12 and 2 thirds yards. You're now ready for all those numerical expressions problems. Good luck.